Today we will be talking about the aviation industry in Hong Kong. Currently, Hong Kong International Airport is using two one-way system. The one-way is heading to 7 degrees and 250 degrees. Now we are facing the one-way 25. On the left-hand side, this is one-way 25 left, and on the right-hand side, which is near to us is one rate to fight right. and then on the opposite side they have 07 left and 07 right as your information here in 2019 they have over 71 million passengers are traveling in Hong Kong International Airport and over 420 thousand of aircraft are taking off and landing in Hong Kong International Airport. Hong Kong is one of the busiest airports in the world. There have three major airlines are based in Hong Kong. The first one is Cavalry Pacific Airways, the second one is Hong Kong Airlines, and the final one is, is the Hong Kong Express. And the Hong Kong Express Currently is owned by Cavalry Pacific Airways. For the first two, Cavalry Pacific Airways and Hong Kong Airlines, those are full service carrier in Hong Kong. And the last one, Hong Kong Express, which is the lowest cost carrier, what we call that is LCC. According to the COVID 19, not even the aviation industry, all of the industry are having a big challenge. In Hong Kong, the airlines is over 90% was stopped their flights since they have no passenger travel around the world. Most of the airlines, their profits are come from the cargo instead of the passenger. During the fast going of the online shopping, the cargo demand are increasing while the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of the country are having a lockdown. Under the fast going of the cargo demand, most of the airlines are using the passenger aircraft to deliver their cargo goods. In Hong Kong, Cafe Pacific Airways and Hong Kong Airlines owned many aircraft. Those aircraft are based in the Hong Kong International Airport. While you can see that here, most of the aircraft are grounding in Hong Kong International Airport. They cannot fly around the world. For the Cafe Pacific Airways, some of the all aircraft such as A330 are moved to Australia for the grounding since Hong Kong International Airport do not have enough space to allow the airlines to park here. Due to the pandemic and the current situations, the airlines is not getting well. Some of the airlines become bankrupt, even some of the airlines are become closed down. For example, in Hong Kong, in the last year, October of 22, Cafe Pacific was choose to close down their partner airlines, which is Cafe Dragon. Since Cafe Pacific owned over 100 aircraft in Hong Kong, and those aircraft are grounding in Hong Kong, the maintenance costs and the grounding parking costs are still having so that Cafe Pacific need to close down their partner airlines Cafe Dragon. That can reduce their cost, even the staff and the maintenance or the parking fee in Hong Kong. But during this case, we can see that most of the crew or even the staff are an imported during the coast down of the Cafe Dragon. While on that time, K 
Kevin perceived it what announced the new salary policy to all of the staff, even the pilots, the cabin crew, and the office staff. Some of the flight attendant and the crew's member, even the office staff, are facing the new contract about the low pay of the new policy about the salary. As Cafe Pacific Airways mentioned that why they are choosing to have a new contract about the new salary policy since they want to cut off most of the courses even at that moment Cafe Pacific Airways are considering to having to unemport some flight crew even the pilots since they are still facing the quite that problem Due to the unstable COVID-19 cases in Hong Kong, the airline cannot consider or having a planning for the future. Most of the airlines are facing their bankrupt crisis. Some of the airlines are having the idea to regenerate their revenue. For example, for the Hong Kong Express, they are allowing the, the UO location to explore the market, even giving the opportunity to the hunger for fire. During the flightcation, the air crew will ping some mini games such as the bingo to the passenger while they're flying. On the other hand, the airlines will having the souvenir to all of the passenger, such as the aircraft model, some seasonal food. Flycation, it is one of the general revenue opportunity to the airlines while having the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of the airlines are finding the survival method since they cannot get enough profit revenue in the airlines under the COVID-19. On the other hand, some of the local citizens think that the flycation or even those ideas, it is not reasonable. It is raising the money. But if you think about it, the airlines even do the flight crew there is the good opportunity to them. First of all, for the airlines, they can have new revenue, new profits while they are having the flycation. On the other hand, for the flight crew, they are happy to service the customer, even the passenger on board. This is a good opportunity to them to serve the passenger while the COVID-19. As I am the aviation student in Hong Kong, I would like to summarize and give things the comments about the airline industry in Hong Kong even under the COVID-19 or in the future. I know some of the air crew, air staff or even the office staff up in the aviation industry. I become an imported here I would like to say something for you guys. Um, unfortunately, in the COVID-19, no one can predict it or no one can imagine it. Um, how will it become good or become worse in the future? Currently, hope you guys are stay safe. And for the airlines, even in, in other industry. The challenge of the COVID-19 is very difficult. Currently, we cannot imagine how many airlines will become bankrupt or close down under the COVID-19. This video only a part of the information to you guys to know more about the Hong Kong aviation. I hope that the travel bubble 
between Hong Kong and Singapore can available in twenty six of May. That is kind of the opportunity to the allies, even both country, are、um, getting more economic profits or revenue. Travel bubble is one of the good idea for both country or even to the airline industry. As the finally, hope you guys are getting well and stay safe. I hope aviation industry around the world are、um, getting well before two thousand twenty six. Finally, if you guys love this type of video, remember to let me know. You can like this video, comment this video, share this video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any question, feel free to contact me.